Let's do this. Who's with me? Are you ready? I know I'm ready. Is the video ready? That's the thing I never know, but it looks like the video is ready. Uh, welcome. It has been a minute before I've done one of these videos where I have just sat down and shared a little bit about what's going on in my mind with you. And today I am focusing on emotional vulnerability because to be quite frank with you, I have a wedding that's coming up next month and I have been so emotional, way more emotional than I am normally. And before, in my past, long before today, before my days of therapy, I would have berated myself and beat myself up for being emotional. I would have thought to myself, you're weak, you know, how dare you cry like this? You need to have a stiff upper lip, you need to be strong, what are you doing? You can't cry, blah, 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 blah. I really would have shamed myself. And even though I knew that being emotional was a part of who I was and I recognized that and I could see it because I had been told that my whole life that I was emotional, I still had a lot of shame around it. And this is one of the things that supposed to culture tends to do when it comes to your emotions especially if you think back i mean i was born in the 80s so all throughout school like i was consistently made fun of for for crying for having emotions for being sensitive people told me all the time oh you're too sensitive la la la, la. and i'm sure there's many people that are here in the community that have gone through and experienced something similar where people actually shame them for being emotional but what i've learned throughout therapy through my personal growth journey through like this returning and rediscovering of myself is that i'm here to honor these emotions i'm not here to hide them or to tuck them away or to stuff them in the corner in a box never to think about them again no no no. i need to honor these emotions because they're a part of what makes denise denise and oftentimes our emotions like especially if for example like if you're feeling really emotional like more emotional than normal and you can't really attribute it to anything like you can't attribute it to any like specific situation you can't attribute it to hormones you can't like you can't really pinpoint what's going on there these emotions are signals it's an invitation to go inward and explore and ask yourself some questions like why am i feeling this way why is this emotion coming up for me particularly if it's a more challenging one like if you're feeling really angry but you can't really understand like or pinpoint where that anger is coming from and then you start to get annoyed with yourself for being angry and you're like oh man because emotional like when I say emotional oftentimes you're gonna think right away like oh crying or sensitive or these things too but there's also that side of things where people will be like you're overly emotional you get angry you have you're quick to temper all these things and if that's happening to you even on, on either side of the scale like if, you, if you're quick uh, quick to temper quick to have anger or you're you're very very emotional no matter what side of it it is there is a point where you have to honor that and ask yourself okay is this like a part of my personality is this a part of who i am or am i asked to honor what's happening to go inwards and to say okay like what's at the root of this? What's going on here? And and I know a lot of people are quick to believe that anger is a really bad thing and we have to push anger down and we can't be angry and we can't experience anger, especially if you think about supposed to culture and the way it influences us to be ha shiny, happy people all the time. You know, anger is oftentimes, you know, felt like we feel like a lot of upset around and I don't want to feel angry and I don't want to be categorized as an angry person. And if someone were to, con to, to say, oh, you struggle with anger, you're going to have a big blow and be like very, very defensive, right? But we have to say, okay, what is this trying to show me? What am I being called to take a look at? Because there's always a root cause, but it's about us consistently asking why. Why am I feeling this anger? And then going a little bit deeper and then asking why again and what's at the root of that and being really curious about it. But you can't do that and Unless you sit down and you honor what is going on here and you honor some of these big emotions that you're experiencing as opposed to trying to push them away or have shame around them and I think part of that too part of that fight part of standing up to and embracing what your emotions are and what they mean is understanding the influence that supposed to culture has in terms of vulnerability because you know obviously and I've said it time and time again I mean a supposed to culture is this villain you and I are all collectively fighting up against this pressure to be something to be in a Box, to fit a societal norm to be somebody that has been deemed socially acceptable as opposed to beating beating your own drum dancing to the beat of your own drum and really aligning with your authentic self supposed to culture is always trying to dictate what we should do and in terms of vulnerability it's up to us to challenge and say no i want to be vulnerable i want to have vulnerable communication i want to have vulnerable connections i want to be able to feel safe enough in the presence of other people to showcase and share my share myself with them without fear of being told i'm too much you're too needy, you're too much, you're too angry, you're too this, you're too that. You know, we're always a fearful that somebody is going to claim we're too X, Y, Z. And it's up to us to really 
say, okay, I am challenging that rhetoric that's supposed to culture has laid down and I'm going to look at my emotions in a new way and I'm going to embrace where I'm at today. Even if it means I'm struggling with anger, I'm going to say, okay, this is radical self-acceptance. I accept that right now I'm struggling with anger, but this might not always be the case forever. And I'm going to take some time. I'm going to sit with this. I'm going to honor this emotion. I'm going to understand where it's coming from so that I can make the appropriate choices to either move through the anger or to address what's at the root cause. But I'm not going to be, if I'm not going to be afraid to be vulnerable and especially to like understanding the root of anger like that's a very really vulnerable place to be in because anger is oftentimes a signal that there could be something deep inside you that needs your dress like needs addressing and this could be inner child work and that can be very vulnerable place to go but knowing that you deserve to go there that you don't have to hide what's going on that you can do this inner exploration and you can surround yourself with people that are willing to go there with you that have the bandwidth to go there with you and want to support you and if you don't have anyone that can support you with that that's the beautiful part about therapy and working with a therapist is that they can come on that journey with you and collaborate with you so that you can then find the courage to go to go there and i have so often clients that want to work with me that say to me like i it took everything in me to be vulnerable enough to actually reach out to you to say i need help i need support but it's through that vulnerability and honoring that vulnerability and continue to define the stigma and to defy supposed to culture that says we can't be vulnerable that we're able to then you know open up and say okay what is it that i need what is it that I need? What are you asking? What are you trying to tell me emotions? What is there at the root? And ultimately this ties into what I said about radical self-acceptance is that no matter where you're at now in terms of like understanding your emotions or exploring your emotions or trying to actually feel emotions potentially for the first time in your life because a lot of us have been told to stuff our emotions down and I especially feel this way in particular with men and I know a lot of them in this particular community um, our male population is quite small but that's okay you know I think men really struggle with this probably more than even women do. I mean, there's obviously with women this this need to to have the stiff upper lip and be in the masculine and the masculine says not to cry and not to have emotions and, and just really be like a stone face like robot, right? So you can only imagine what a male might feel like, especially in this particular climate. So embracing where we are now and embracing our true selves, encompassing our emotions and encompassing what that means that's also part of what it means to really sit with and embrace and be one with our emotions. But they aren't bad things. They are friends, not foes. I think I did a topic about feelings and I used that little Finding Nemo thing. Um, it's not, yeah, anyways, sharks are friends, not foes. I think that's what it is. But uh, yes, anyway, I want to just come in here and share a little bit about this because I don't even think, oh yeah, I think I'm coming full circle. I've been experiencing a lot of up and down emotions in terms of planning this wedding this it's a lot of pressure and there's all kinds of supposed to culture in the bridal industry don't even get me started on that if you know you know um but just being one with all of them and expressing them and working towards asking for what i need instead of letting myself get to the point where i feel like i'm gonna blow so i'm right there with you i am right there with honoring and allowing my emotions to be present and just saying okay like something these this is trying to tell me something you know even if there's like an an aggressive emotion that's coming up and, and you find yourself being passive aggressive like there's a reason go there be vulnerable understand what's at the root of it and ask for support when you need it but hopefully if you're watching this it was something you needed to hear today i wish you all of the best let's not suppress our emotions let's embrace them and if we need a quiet spot to do that let's create and cultivate some space for ourselves even if it's five minutes in the washroom but with that I will talk to you soon.